for the millions and millions of people who are watching this, um, the big secret that I have to be honest about is that I have a weight problem. No, I'm not as big as some people. That is true. But I'm making this partly for myself, kind of like a confession, I suppose. And if anybody's watching this, maybe they'll, it could help them in some weird way. All my life, I have dealt with weight. Again, I've never, I think the heaviest I've ever gotten was 254 pounds, I think. I'm not sure what I weigh now. I will weigh myself a little later. I think, um, well, actually, I take that back. Well, at least, yes, yeah, yesterday I went to the doctor's and I came in at 231 pounds. So a little later, like I said, I'm going to record myself and you guys can witness it of me weighing myself and watch it. it's going to make me look like a liar but that's the god's honest truth that's what i was i was at 231 and um uh, as of yesterday i uh i don't know why well i have suspicions why it's been like this for me for years it seems like when i go overseas i used to be in the military but when i always went overseas I always seemed to lose weight, whether I was in the military or as a civilian, it seemed like every time I went overseas, I lost weight. Whereas when I come back, I put on some weight. Now I've been back here uh, since the day after Christmas last year. And in that time I've put on, I think 11 pounds. And I had been doing pretty good keeping steady from the weight I was when I left up until maybe two months ago, two or three months ago. And foolishly, I made the mistake. I went and purchased a, uh, and kept drinking for a while protein shakes. The thinking I had was drinking protein shakes will help curb my hunger. And then I wouldn't want to eat. But the flip side to that was it had a lot of sugar in it, apparently, because all of a sudden I gained this, this so I would say in the last couple of months I've gained 11, 11 pounds. And I, I noticed it, and so I had stopped. And I haven't drank a protein shake in, well, let's see, about at least some, uh, I know I'm about to contradict myself, so forgive me, because I'm just thinking this off the top of my head. I don't have a script for this. Let's just say five months ago, I was drinking protein shakes and I stopped because I saw that I was starting to gain weight. My face got a little heavier and everything. And my stomach too. So, um, I would say about two, two or three months ago, I had stopped drinking that. And uh, I guess the damage was done because I, I haven't lost the weight I had gained. And uh, what doesn't help, what I, okay, so this is what I expect or I suspect. In America, where is where I'm, I'm, I'm here now, most of our foods are processed foods. They're not really healthy foods. Most of the time, what I have for lunch is a salad with uh, chicken nuggets that I nuke in the microwave and I, I have that with my salad for the purpose of some protein at least that's the rationale i never put salad dressing on my salads i used to when i was growing up but i looked at it this way that well adding salad dressings is adding calories and so m more times than not i do not put salad dressing on my salad I always find it funny when I see people, they'll get a salad and then they'll pour like half a bottle, it seems like a half a bottle, I'm being sarcastic, of salad dressing on their salad. It's like, well, that defeats the purpose of having a salad, in my humble opinion. So, I, so the, like I said, the thinking I have is that I gain, the, the food here in America, for the most part, is really not, because they put so much preservatives in it, it's not really organic. And there are some or, you know, organic foods out there, of course, but then they cost more money than the non-organic food. And if it was a perfect world and that I could control things, I would make the 
preservative foods and junk foods uh, more expensive and the organic food, the healthier foods, cheaper. You would think as a society, that's what we would want. But, and you would think the government, which is supposed to represent us, would uh, make it so to encourage the companies to uh, make it where it was cheaper to eat healthy foods. It would solve a lot of our health problems we have in America and weight problems. Hence me, I have that. Um, when I left the Philippines at the end of December, I had, um, I was at 100 kilograms. Now for the average Filipino, that's a lot of weight. But considering when I went there, I think I was, when I first got there in late September, I weighed in, I think it was like 115 kilograms. And then, and I was there for three months and I, with my Asawa's um, miracle help, I lost 15 kilograms. And it was crazy that I lost that because I really didn't do anything um, special to lose it. It was just, what I, I suspect is the food there is, most of the food there is organic. It's fresh. They, uh, yeah, basically it's not frozen foods. They have that there, but most of the time we were eating um, fresh foods we'd get from the market. And majority of the food that I ate there was Filipino food. I don't eat seafood. I'm allergic. Um, I mean, actually really allergic. Uh, it's weird. I can eat salmon, but um, any other food I can't. Or, or I, get a, my re I get a reaction of itchiness. And so I pretty much, if I'm not eating salmon, I'm not eating seafood. Um, but I gave a nickname to my Asawa that uh, she's like my coach and trainer because I ate what she cooked and I enjoyed it actually. I, I told her that, no, not even, t I told her and her f uh, family and friends that I can see the weight loss. I weighed myself every once in a while and I could see I was losing weight. So it would be pointless of me to uh, stop. And I told, told everybody that if I had not seen the weight loss, I would not keep uh, following her regiment. But I would be an idiot to stop knowing that it's working. And I really liked the way my face looked and my body looked by the time I left. So in a, a, a few weeks, I will be uh, moving there. And the main reason, main reason I'm moving there is, I, I know this sounds corny, but it's for love. But there's a lot of benefits to it. Like I said, um, I'll lose weight. I'll get uh, healthier. Uh, the cost of living is a lot cheaper than what it is here in the States. There's a sense of community there. It's not so much here. Um, and there's plenty of places and islands I would love to see and I will see. And uh, matter of fact, uh, my Sawa and I are going to go to Barakai uh, later next month. So I'm excited about that. She's never been there and I've never been there. So that's something that I'm, we're looking forward to. And I'm hoping that I will lose between the time I get there, the time we go enough weight to, uh, not be embarrassed to take my shirt off. You know, it's, well, I suppose I was gonna say when I was a kid, I really didn't, you know, I didn't weigh as, as much as I do now. Um, the lowest weight I've ever gotten as an adult in the past six years, I got down to 185 pounds. And that was 
partly my doing and partly her, her helping. Um, I used to run or jog, I should say. I don't do that much now. Uh, I'm conscious about my, because of my weight, I'm afraid to exert myself too much. So uh, I have a treadmill waiting for me uh, there in, at home in the Philippines that I will be using. I didn't have that the last time I was there. So that'll come in handy, especially on those rainy days when the rainy season comes. I can still exercise, but it'll be inside and not out in the um, dealing with the rain or excusing why I can't work out because it's raining. There's no excuse now. Um, so yeah, like I said, when I was younger, I, I, I did, it didn't bother me to wear, take my shirt off or anything. But as I got older and I started putting on weight, I became one of those, I'm embarrassed to take my shirt off. So I'm hoping between the time I get there and the time we go, I will have uh, at least shed off maybe 10 pounds, 12 pounds maybe. I don't know, we'll find out when it happens. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm part of it, I, I mean, I don't think it's necessarily a um, family trait, why I'm this big. It's a combination of things. Um, there are some foods that I really shouldn't be eating, and uh, so I take fault for that. And the nice thing is when I'm there in the Philippines, I won't be eating those, because my sawa will make sure I don't. <laughs> Um, it may be a side effects from some medicine I'm taking. I, I don't know for sure, but I do know one medicine there. It, one of the side effects is you could get weight gain. So, but I, I'm not going to use that as an excuse and I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys, oh, I'm, I gained weight because I, I was depressed or, or whatever, you know, poor victim me. I'm not going to be one of those people. Um, there is, well, when I'm there in the Philippines, I plan on doing uh, some exercise. I actually bought, uh, my Asawa doesn't know this, well, she will once she sees this, but I bought two, I think it's two sets of uh, walking sticks. So when we go walking, either in the woods on one of our adventures we're gonna do, you know, making vlogs and stuff, or just walking around in general. I, I bought these, uh, a couple of walking sticks for us to use. One of the other reasons I suspect that I gained weight, well, I don't think this is the sole, sole reason because I used to do ride service and I still maintained to be 100 kilograms. The time I noticed that I gained it was when I did that protein shake. Good intention, bad decision. That's where I noticed it. So I, I, I won't say it's because I wasn't active, moving around, because I was a, doing ride service that, you know, doesn't involve much actual physical activity except pushing a pedal and braking. So it's just, it's just when I notice is when I did the protein shake. And uh, so, yeah, it, it it's now yesterday I did walk four miles. I did walk four miles. So anyways, I'm just rambling on. I'm, I apologize if, uh, if you guys are still watching this. Uh, thank you for sticking around and hearing my confession. Um, if you guys have any suggestions of how I could... Uh, lose weight, let me know. And uh, until we meet again, you guys take care of the ones you love and yourself. Bye-bye.